The Icelandic sheepdog is a breed of dog of spitz type originating from the dogs brought to Iceland by the Vikings. It is of a similar type to the Norwegian Buhind, the Shetland sheepdog, and the Welsh Corgi. They are commonly used to herd sheep in the Icelandic countryside. History of the breed. The Icelandic dog is a national breed, its ancestors arrived on the Scandinavian island with the first Vikings between 874 and 930. Over the years, representatives of other breeds entered the country in very limited numbers, and since 1901 their import was completely banned, which allowed the Icelandic shepherd dog to remain almost unchanged from the 9th century, especially in remote, hard-to-reach areas. For a long time, the dog has adapted to the climate, the way of life of the local population, and its hard centuries-old struggle for survival. In the 1950s, Englishman Mark Watson, who had visited Iceland on numerous occasions, brought some of the best specimens of dogs to California for further breeding, which caused concern among the Icelanders, after which they began a targeted selection of the Icelandic shepherd using carefully selected individuals. In order to preserve the Icelandic dog, the National Kennel Club was founded in 1969, and the breed itself was declared part of the cultural heritage of Iceland. In 1972, the breed was recognized by the International Sinological Federation and assigned to the group of Spitz and Primitive Breeds, section of Northern Guard and Herding Dogs. In 1996 it was registered by the American United Kennel Club and in 2010, by the American Kennel Club. As of January 30, 2018, the register of the international organization, founded in 1996 and engaged in breeding Icelandic Sheepdog International Cooperation, registered 15,949 dogs in 12 countries of the world, almost half of which were born in the period since 2000. The largest number of them was recorded in Denmark, 4035, Iceland, 3052, and Sweden, 2333. The breed is still very few in number, but it can no longer be considered endangered. appearance. Spitz dog of slightly elongated format, slightly below average height, with pointed ears and tail curled over the back, cute, intelligent and contented expression. It can be short-haired and long-haired. Sexual dimorphism is pronounced. The ideal height at the withers of males is 46 cm, bitches 42 cm, the weight of males is about 14 kg, bitches is about 11 kg. The muzzle is slightly shorter than the skull, the bridge of the nose is straight. The cheekbones are not pronounced. The transition from forehead to muzzle is well defined, but not too steep or deep. The nose is black, in chocolate-colored dogs, and in some cream-colored dogs it is dark brown. Scissor bite. The eyes are medium in size, usually dark brown, almond-shaped. The ears are triangular, erect, of medium size, very mobile, the tips are slightly rounded, are sensitive to surrounding sounds, show the mood of the dog. Neck muscular, without dulap. The body is rectangular and compact. The depth of the chest is equal to the length of the forelegs to the elbows, the ribs are well sprung, the abdomen is slightly tucked up. The tail is set high, curled in a ring and touches the back. The legs are straight, parallel and strong, with correct angulation. Paws are oval, arched, gathered in a ball, with dense elastic pads. The dew claws of the front paws can be double. On the hind legs, well-developed double dew claws are desirable. The coat is double, thick, rather coarse, protects the dog well from bad weather. There are two types, short and long. In short-haired dogs, it is thick, with a medium-length guard hair and a soft undercoat. Shorter hair on the face, top of the head, ears and forelegs. Longer, on the neck, chest and the back of the hind legs. The length of the hair on the tail is proportional to the total length of the coat. In long-haired dogs, the top coat is longer, with a thick and soft undercoat, shorter on the muzzle, upper part of the head, front of the ears and forelegs. Longer, on the back of the ears, neck, chest, back of the front and hind legs. The coat on the tail is very dense, and its length is proportional to the total length of the coat. The color is red, chocolate brown, gray and black. The predominant color is always accompanied by white markings, most often located on the skull or muzzle, on the chest, tip of the tail, and also forms a white collar and white socks of different lengths. On the lower part of the body, from the throat to the tip of the tail, the coat is of a lighter shade. Red and gray dogs may have a black mask, black ends of the guard hair and sparse black hairs, Black, actually tricolor, dogs have white markings and traditional tan markings on the cheekbones, above the eyes, and on the legs. Let's say a variegated color with spots of the indicated colors on a white back ilograms round. White color cannot be continuous and predominant. Description. They belong to one of the most ancient group spits, and in appearance, are close to wolves. These are medium-sized dogs, males at the withers reach 46 cm, females 42 cm, weight 12 to 15 kg. Males are more solidly built, muscular, while females are graceful and elegant. 
Icelandic Shepherd dogs can be short or long, but always double, thick, waterproof coat. The coat consists of a coarse top coat and a soft but thick undercoat that helps the dog to keep warm. Both long-haired and short-haired are shorter on the face, ears and front of the legs, longer on the neck and chest. The tail is fluffy, with a long feathering. They differ in a variety of colors, where one main one can be supplemented with spots of different colors. Usually dogs are black, gray, brown in color, the latter can vary from cream to reddish. Typically, all dogs have white markings on the face, chest, or paws. Light-colored dogs have a black mask on the muzzle. For dogs participating in exhibitions, trimming is prohibited, as the animal must look as natural as possible. The nature of the breed. The Icelandic Shepherd Laika has a very cheerful, playful, sociable and inquisitive personality. The breed is human-oriented, infinitely attached to the owners, constantly following them on their heels and spinning under their feet, needing communication. A vigilant and fearless shepherd dog performs well guard duty, clearly controlling the territory entrusted to her. He enjoys using the excellent vocal abilities laid down by nature, raising loud barking at the slightest pretext. The hunting instinct is rather poorly developed. Peace-loving dogs never show aggression, trying to evade conflict. They get along well with other pets, seeing them as their flock in need of protection. Even cats are rarely chazzed, and even then out of purely sporting interest, they never do physical harm. This spitz develops the most trusting and sincere relationships with the children, the dog's patience is practically inexhaustible. A benevolent and gentle shepherd dog greets strangers kindly, without the slightest bit of aggressiveness. There is a special bias against all birds, which is explained by the need in the past to protect the wards of the lambs from the birds of prey attacking from the air. A dog can meaningfully and for a long time look out for someone in the sky, strongly lifting his head up. Maintenance and care. Shepherds huskies need space, long walks with active physical exercise. For this reason, keeping in an apartment is not the best option. The rest of the care is simple, brush the coat two to three times a week. During the shedding period, the wool is combed out every day. They bathe as needed. Brush your teeth two to three times a week. The nails are trimmed regularly as they grow back. Eyes are examined daily, washed with a special liquid. Two times a week, the ears are checked and cleaned of dirt and wax. Icelanders are unpretentious in food, so you can feed both with super premium class dryers and natural food. With natural feeding, lean meat is the main product. Health and disease. Icelandic spits are in good health, so they rarely get sick. Basically, pets are vulnerable to such pathologies, dislocation of the kneecap. Diseases of the eyes. Dysplasia of the elbow and hip joints. The average lifespan is 12 to 14 years. Puppy selection and cost. It is not easy to acquire a little Icelander, since there are few nurseries. For a puppy, it is better to contact specialized nurseries located in Denmark, Sweden, and your homeland of Iceland, or in the USA a conscientious breeder will certainly provide the necessary set of documents, pedigrees of parents, puppy birth certificate, etc., proving the fact of the pet's pedigree. The cost of a puppy can vary from 400 to 600 US dollars, depending on the status of the nursery and the prospects of the baby himself. It is not recommended to buy dogs offered through advertisements and from hands, since purebred Icelandic shepherds are often given different crosses with huskies. Only an experienced dog handler can visually distinguish them. Conclusion. Icelandic dogs are loving, infinitely loyal, absolutely incapable of aggression, so they are perfect for a family with small children. The only minor drawback in the content is the need for daily long walks in the fresh air.